Have you ever wanted an all-black case watch but were worried about it scratching or fading over time? Ceramic is the answer, right? A few of the luxury brands have been using ceramic for a few years, and while the scratch resistance of ceramic is better than almost any other case material, it is also known to be brittle, meaning if you drop it, it could shatter. So what's the solution? How about encasing the ceramic over a steel exoskeleton? That's at least what Zodiac has done. Now, I don't believe I've ever seen that done before, and to be honest, I'm not sure I totally understand it, but I'll talk more about it in this video. Of course, this is the STP movement, and it is COSE certified, but beyond all that, I think this might be my favorite of the Super Seawolf lineup, at least in this iteration, as the gloss black ceramic and that blue dial is just killer. Let's take a look. I will put up all the specs on screen, but as you see, this is pretty much the same as all the other Super Seawolf 40 millimeter watches, but now it is all ceramic. Well, kind of. Uh, pricing is $1,700, which is quite a few hundred more than your steel versions. And at least at this point in time, it only comes in one dial color, this striking dark blue, slightly textured and slightly gradient dial. But before we get to the dial, let's talk about the case. Now, I've done quite a few of these Super Seawolf reviews, including the new ones that are 42 millimeters and titanium. But this is the 40 millimeter model, and I have talked about in previous reviews, I wish they would make the same case a little bit larger and have slightly larger crowns as well. I will link to one of my previous reviews up in the right hand corner, but this black ceramic is still my favorite so far because this glossy black ceramic case just looks fantastic. But the construction of this one does have me a little confused, possibly just because it's the first time I have heard about this, at least to my recollection. So I've talked to Mike Pearson from Zodiac and there is a ceramic case over a stainless steel skeleton case. But as you can see in this video, that includes the lugs as well. So that means this is not a coating, and Mike has stressed it is not a ceramic coating, but a ceramic case over the steel case, supposedly for more structural rigidity. The question that needs to be asked, does this actually give more structure and make the ceramic case more shatter resistant beyond its scratch resistant properties? That's not something I could really answer, but it does make me wonder, if this was dropped really hard, would the ceramic shatter and just give way to the steel case underneath, or hopefully, is it giving it some more structure and making this ceramic watch one you really won't have to worry about? The crown is ceramic, as is the bezel insert, and it really looks great all around. You can see the inner steel case and case back is DLC coated, or at least the parts that are visible to the eye, as well as a DLC coated buckle. And then we get to the dial, and I have to tell you, at first, I thought this was a sunray dial until I started taking more photos. And it kind of does reflect light in a way that would make you think that, but that might also be the Dome Sapphire Crystal doing it. The dial when you get up close is actually a lightly textured dial, and it does look like it may be a gradient dial, but again, maybe that's just a light playing with the crystal. I'm going to try and show it here on video, and if I feel I didn't do a good enough job of that here, I'm going to throw up a picture I took that you could see it as best as possible. Another thing I realized when I got close up with the lens is the applied markers are matte black, not glass black as I originally thought. In most light, they do look glossy and really match the rest of the ceramic on the bezel and the case. Either way, I love that they went black on the indices and the minute hand. The hour hand is steel and the second hand is white, giving it a nice contrast. Unfortunately, the Seawolf dial is still overrun with large unmatched text, and it does detract from this gorgeous deep blue color of the dial. I mean, combined with the black indices and hands and that gray chapter ring, this really is a stunning looking dial. I just wish the text was at least smaller. The date window frame is a nice touch, but the date wheel is black, and I wish they could have tried and matched the dial color. Of course, this is the STP 1-11 movement, COSC certified, and some just don't love this movement and have had problems with it, specifically with the crown and winding. 
With Fossil owning the Zodiac and it being their movement, I doubt we will see this change anytime soon. No bracelet option here, which for sure is doable, but would have probably upped the price to well over $2,000, I'm sure. But I do wonder how it would look on a full gloss black DLC bracelet. But it is just the Zodiac Tropic Rubber here, a little on the short side, but still does fit on my 7.5 or 19.05 centimeter wrist. The loom, as with most of the Seawolf models, is not good, not great. And here you can see it looks very good when it's fully charged. But don't expect this to last all night. But if you just like loom for Instagram shots, you should be fine. I still think this is the best looking version of the Seawolf. And I really do love the look of the ceramic case. It's a deep black, it won't fade, and it's very hard to scratch. I'm not sure if the steel case underneath really does anything, but if you're buying a ceramic watch, whether it's this, a Panerai, a Rado, a Bell & Ross, etc., you do so with the knowledge you're going to need to be a little bit careful. And price-wise, I think it might be one of the cheapest ceramic case watches out there uh, for a dive watch with a COSC movement. This is limited to 500 pieces, so I'm not sure if they will be making more variants of it at some point, but I bet they will, as this case style really seems to be their bread and butter at this point, so it should be interesting to see what they come out with this new year. Let me know what you think of this Ceramic Zodiac down in the comments below. It'll be interesting to hear your thoughts. You can find us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. It is at WatchReport. Liking, commenting, subscribing, it's all free, and it immensely helps out the channel with the YouTube algorithm, so please do all three. This is Don Evans from Watch Report. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.